please, please accept my, my sincere thanks. Uh, I'm very, very grateful that you are supporting this program. Uh, that is important that you gave the name, uh, your name, uh, to this project and it helped us and I think so that it is uh, helping in the future too. Many, many thanks. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be part of this project, which I think is revolutionary and, and already very successful, I understood. Um, and of course, in a world where um, the investment in arts, um, art subjects in schools is diminishing in globally, unfortunately, uh, an initiative like this is even more important. And I, I'm really happy to hear that you have had already a lot of success with this. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I wonder that why uh, it, uh, for hundreds of years, it is proved that uh, art, uh, art and music mainly really uh, helps uh, and motivates for all the other subjects. And I don't understand that why the decision makers, they are not making a decision that art should be daily. Like it was in the 50s in Hungary. Uh, every day we had music lessons and believe me, that was a big help that we survived the communism because of the art in school. Absolutely. And also, uh, the way I see it is that the arts should be a totally normal, essential to, part of the daily life. So they, they, should, they should be totally integrated into daily life, the, the way uh, meals are integrated, you know, a piece of bread <laughs> or, or a cup of coffee or whatever. They, it should be the same degree of integration, i.e. it should be totally normal. It's a normal part of human behavior. And, and what you're doing with the mini fiddlers, the international mini fiddlers, is, is, is enabling kids to become part of that, which ultimately makes us more than what we are. It's fantastic what you say. Uh, it's almost like you would uh, quote uh, Zoltan Kodai. He said and he wrote it that music is a spiritual food mm -hmm. and we have to be very careful like, what sort of food in school we are giving to the children. And that is, it's, and, and you now after uh, 50 years you express the same. And there is no doubt uh, today that uh, uh, if someone is regularly making music, then it's already, uh, uh, one can show it in the brains, that the brain is more developed if it is a regular activity. Yeah, I, I mean, there, there's a lot of scientific data mm. about this, and, um, and it, it cannot be contested. It's a, it's a scientific fact that this is the case. But, you know, beyond that, um, it, it's such a source of uh, joy and enjoyment, and, and it just makes life so much richer, and, and, and it kind of allows us to connect with other people in a way that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. It, it allows connections uh, and communication beyond the borders of language, of course. Um, and, and what you're doing on a global scale you're working with kids. You just told me mentioned mentioned uh, kids in the Faroe Islands mm -hmm. uh, uh, and 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 a and a boy in Alaska and and so on and and all these young people are able to communicate through this medium mm -hmm. uh, that is being made available to them without actually getting stuck with uh, the barriers of language or different cultures or different political systems or different religions or different whatever. Um, it, it's a great unifying factor, and I, I think it's one of the most powerful tools of communication we have as humans. It's unbelievable that uh, five, six, seven years old children are communicating uh, from Alaska to Helsinki through uh, Australia, uh, Tel Aviv uh, through Copenhagen. <laughs> so it is. It's uh, uh, for me as a grandfather. Uh, it is such a big joy, enjoyment that I feel that still we can give something. And because today uh, classical music uh, is marginal. Uh, and it is regretful uh, that it is marginal. Uh, now uh, it is our input a little bit uh, to maintain, maintain, and probably when the decision makers will at last realize that it should be normal everyday food, as you say, or uh, what I says, then uh, probably this uh, project is somehow uh, contributes to this uh, success, hopefully. 
I think it's a wonderful initiative. And, and of course, you have a fantastic track record in terms of uh, uh, music pedagogy already since many, many years. And, but of course, this is a totally new step uh, uh, in terms of making it available, uh, regardless of the geographical aspects and boundaries. And, um, and somehow, what it also does is that it, it creates a community for these children, a mm -hmm. community which is, which is bigger than their own town or village or suburb or wherever they live. It's, it's a global community. Mm -hmm. and, and the kids join something that uh, is vast and, and international. And, and therefore, you know, it, it helps people to understand each other. Uh, more, 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 most likely it will create more stability in the world and more, most likely it, it will create more dialogue in the world and, and somehow lessen the risks of aggression and misunderstanding. Uh, uh, my dream, and uh, I hope uh, that I can still uh, probably experience it, that one of those children or several of those children will play after under your baton. It can be. Uh, when, <coughs> when you were a very, very young conductor, uh, uh, several of uh, uh, my children were playing already with you, and now the Helsinki strings are all, all over the Helsinki sitting here, concertmaster, tutti players, all, all. So you are working with them, and probably with these international midfielders, you will have someone. Absolutely. I, I, as you said, I, I work with lots of your, your ex-students, and, and, uh, and they really form the, the sort of uh, central body of, of string players in uh, in in this country and and in in the Helsinki orchestras, especially and and of course uh, it's a very satisfying thing to kind of see that there's a, a project and a method that that have has produced all these these very skilled people and um, absolutely one day. So uh, if in Los Angeles or in London someone will come from the Tutti to say that. I am one whom you were helping when I was six years old, remember? Okay. <laughs> uh, this will be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, uh, me too, me and, too, and, me too. And, and good luck with all that. And once more, many thanks for helping. It's a great pleasure. Worthy cause. Thank, Thank you thanks. very much. Thanks. What is happening with the internet and the, the social media and the new technology, of course it's a, it's a, it's a big distraction in the lives of the children and, and, and everybody, you know, there's so much on offer and, and there's this of constant communication on, on the touch screen and this and that. Uh, but of course, then we have initiatives like the International Mini Fiddlers where the new technology has been harnessed to, uh, to serve the, 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 the high artistic goals. Yeah. And instead of distraction, it actually provides a, uh, a point of focus and an access to something which is uh, really important and, and and highly complex and I think that's we need a lot of that sort of counter influence uh, to kind of counter the mm -hmm. distractive distracting forces of the internet and the social media. We can't fight uh, against, uh, but we have to prove our side uh, that it is successful and it is making uh, people happy, families happy, children happy. Uh, I had my doubts when I started whether it will work because uh, this face-to-face -face teaching naturally, uh, um, uh, uh, you can't replace it. Uh, that will be, and this is never against the face-to-face -face teaching. It is just a, a very good addition, uh, so that really um, that we can make a network between children, network uh, between uh, teachers. Uh, for instance, in Copenhagen, it is very well organized uh, that they, it is belonging to the university program. And when I am teaching uh, with my children, then the teachers, all future violin teachers, violin players, they are sitting there. Mm -hmm. And then I just uh, say that why w w I am doing it in, in this and this and this way. So it is not uh, addressed only for the children, but naturally mainly, uh, but it is addressed in a way for teachers. Uh, so it is a the pedagogical uh, program, how to teach violin, how to uh, bring uh, uh, music on a high level. Uh, the idea here, the, this, uh, uh, the quality, uh, that uh, again, uh, Kodai, who said that uh, uh, for children only the best is good enough. 
ups and I try to make it naturally I cannot do it ever, best every Saturday uh, but uh, this is my intention that uh, for these children who might be working uh, uh, only the best is good enough and that that we try to maintain that's a beautiful principle and I absolutely support those thoughts thanks